Hi, my name is Jared, and I'm a technical support engineer here at Hawkridge Systems. This video covers how to archive your SolidWorks electrical environment and then unarchive it on a new system or perhaps the same system after an uninstall reinstall. The environment archive is the only officially supported method for backing up and restoring your SolidWorks electrical data. First thing to confirm would be your installation type, which can be done via the application settings. SolidWorks Electrical is unique in that it can, regardless of license type, it can be installed in either a standalone or networked configuration. For this example, uh, I've got the local host designation, which is the default for standalone configuration. You also notice on the databases tab for the SQL server name, it also has local host and the SolidWorks Electrical folder is located on the local client system. Again, those would be the three main settings for the standalone configuration. For the network configuration, the instances of local host, both here on the database tab and on the collaborative server tab, would need to be the name of the appropriate server where the SolidWorks Electrical server elements have been previously installed and this application data folder path should be a shared location on the network. One thing to note is it does need to be a full UNC path, not a mapped drive. Once you've confirmed whether you're in the standalone or network installation configuration, uh, the next thing to check, especially if in the network configuration, would be to ensure that the application data folder, server name, and collaborative server address fields are set to the appropriate server and locations. If not, you could get corruption in data or an incomplete archive, uh, etc. Once you've confirmed that you are pointed to the correct elements and locations to perform the archive, simply go to the File tab, then Archive Environment button. This will bring up the Archive Environment dialog, where you're presented with a number of additional settings, including setting the reminder for regular archiving. After we select Next and then Finish, we're then prompted to save the archive file, which is a .tew zip, at the location of our choosing. I'll just save it to the desktop for this example. Now, depending on the size of your environment, number of projects you have, your various libraries, etc., this process could take quite some time. If you've got a very large environment, lots of projects, lots of big projects, very large symbol and manufacturer part libraries, then this could take a considerable amount of time. Also, if you're in the network configuration, it might also be a factor of your overall network speed. For this example, I just used uh, a single, fairly small project. We were given the report at the end of the archive process showing that what was processed, what was not, etc. In order to restore that archive on a given system, same file tab, then unarchive environment button. That will allow us to navigate to our .tew zip and selecting open will initiate the unarchiving process. Once the unarchive is finished, all of the data should be restored to your system. I hope this video has been helpful outlining how to archive your SolidWorks electrical environment and then unarchive it on a new system or a system after an uninstall reinstall. 
Thank you for watching, and please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit our website at www.hawkridgesys.com for more knowledge-based material.